We're gonna do the molding on the BMW. This is a rubber molding on the windshield. As you can see, it's flaking off. This is a common thing that goes bad. What we're gonna do is take a pick tool, and here we are. We're gonna come in from the front. The front of the car is over here. There's a metal rail that, that hooks into the windshield, and I'll show you that on the new piece. What you gotta do is bend it off of the windshield. Okay. Okay, so I unhooked the metal spine. This does take a little bit of force, so you're gonna have to pull it up. Now we can probably lift this thing up. It should just come off the back of the windshield. I'm gonna come up close to you guys and show you how it hooks into the windshield. Is this, uh, this is the spine you can see, kind of. This, this edge hooks under the windshield. First, clean off all this residue because we have a adhesive that we have to put on here. And that's on the back of the new one. I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, first thing we're gonna do before we even think about putting that guy on is clean this out. So we're gonna clean off this uh, stuff real quick. I got a detailer. Just gonna get it wet and get the dirt off. And then I'm gonna use a uh, bug and tar remover. And that seems to work on the sticky stuff. There's some adhesive residue left over. We wanna get all that off before we put the new strip on. Spray this, start cleaning. All right, so we cleaned it out. The towel's all dirty. Now what we're gonna do is vacuum it out, and when there's stuff stuck in there, I use this pick tool. Okay, so what we do is we start one side at a time. You can see here, this hooks onto the windshield, this little groove in here, and we're gonna hook it in and slide it over. One hand, see how it just kinda stuck in there? And now, I can slide this guy over, kind of, sort of. And then we can go do the other side. See how nicely that seals? I see a lot of people install these wrong, and so this is how you get it to sit flush. Uh, now before pressing in the other part, we're gonna walk around to the other side, do the same thing, basically. Okay, so here we are on the other side, same deal. We're gonna hook it in, same, same way. We hooked this guy in here, and the reason you put the sides in first is so you can slide them in. As you can see, I have not removed the adhesive thing as a tag here. We're gonna get this all lined up and pressed in, and then we're gonna remove the adhesive. It's the same thing, you wanna make sure that you're hooking in behind the windshield as you press it in. So this whole thing will sit nice and flat. And then we're gonna remove the adhesive after we get the whole thing in the place that we want. Now that it's all pressed in, we can remove the strip. So it's this yellow tab right here. You pull it out, and the adhesive backing comes off. Stick it down to your roof. Yeah, so see how the little bumps are coming out? Now this looks nice and smooth. And the reason we inserted the edges in in the beginning was so that the uh, trim could go to the ends of the windshield without sticking up. If you start it in the middle, it's harder, number one. And number two, you're gonna not be tucked under the edge here. This is what a new windshield strip looks like installed. Nice and smooth, no more cracks, tucked under the edges here. Very nice, that's it. Good job for you, for installing it yourself and saving money. Yeah.